little <laughs> nugget in there. Yep. Um, this series is, we want entrepreneurs to, to know that they can uh, take their skill set uh, and their experiences and ascend. Um, but not many executives have a story like yours. Right. So I want you to take us all the way back. <laughs> way back. <laughs> all the way back to how you you began, how you started, and how you were able to ascend. Yeah, I have kind of an unconventional story. Mm -hmm. um, you know, mm -hmm. typically people go into corporate America and then they become an entrepreneur. Well, I started as an entrepreneur. Ah, okay. Um, I had a small business boutique agency. I was working with the U.S. Army, Delta, American Airlines, McDonald's, doing a lot of national campaigns and events on mm -hmm. a national scale. Um, but in 2008, the economy hit, you know, mm -hmm. uh, where you feel as if you can always get those checks and money will always come in. Mm -hmm. um, we had a recession and, you know, being young and being an entrepreneur uh, and not having the right advisory around me, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I made mistakes and I had a six, seven figure business that crumbled to nothing, mm -hmm. to zero, you know, wow. and I was able to build that back up as the economy came on board and working with Miller Coors as an actual client. Um, mm -hmm. So they saw the work that I was doing in the Atlanta market mm -hmm. uh, and asked you know, for me to come on board and support their initiatives uh, within the country when you look at multicultural because you know, a lot of businesses around that time wanted to focus on multicultural uh, you know, consumers. So the GM at the time asked me to come on board, uh, which I did. I knew nothing about beer um, outside of them being a client and doing pure activation, guerrilla marketing in the streets, working with street teams, you know, bringing their brands to life. Um, you know, they asked me to come on board and I did, but I didn't, you know, not understanding the full scope of the industry. I wanted to go into sales, which I did. So. Uh, in sales, I got to purely understand how the industry works. Right. From working with distributors to working with customers, um, store resets, you know, the difference and in, in why it's important for certain packages to be aligned, mm -hmm. um, right hand doors, like, you know, I learned the entire business. Yeah. And from there, I was able to, you know, go into marketing. Um, I was able to take my key learnings from sales and implement them into creating marketing tactics because I understood how the consumer worked. I understood what was important to our distributor and I understood what was important to our customer. So getting the getting your feet dirty and, and, and getting that groundwork is very vital and important. You know, nowadays people just expect to get into an industry, be an entrepreneur and just grow your business yeah. without doing the hard work. And I always tell them you can't Google experience. You have to put the work in to understand what it is in the industry that you're working in to be able to grow your business. So being able to, to put all that together, I was able to grow within Miller Coors. Going from sales to marketing to now being in a role where I get to put those worlds together mm -hmm. and impact our community. I control the dollars for the AA market in our community okay. when you look at nonprofit organizations. You know, the National Urban League is one of our biggest partners, the National Urban League Young Professionals. I heavily invest into that because I know the work that they do and they have yeah. similar, you know, beliefs with economic empowerment, with, you know, impacting our communities from creating jobs, mm -hmm. financial literacy, and putting people in a position to succeed. And that falls with entrepreneurs as well. We develop national entrepreneurship programs to give them that insight. Because it's not always about money, it's about the information. 